Hi, welcome to Miami University Nursing. My name is Brooke Flinders and I'm chair of the department. This is Pearson Hall and this is where students come to study. Uh, this is also a great place to come together to relax in between classes and we also have whiteboards so that students can come together and make sense of everything that they've been learning in class. This is the atrium in Pearson Hall. Um, you'll notice the natural lighting, the fact that there are lots of monitors, whiteboards, and more seating. And in a typical day, this space would be full of students who are coming together to learn collaboratively. This is our high fidelity simulation room. This is Lucina, and she's a mom who is actually pregnant. Uh, she can have a birth, and she also has a baby that students can assess uh, once the delivery has occurred. Uh, these high fidelity simulators allow us to offer students a situation where they get to come in and serve as the functioning nurse and it allows us to teach students how to respond in real life. These high fidelity simulators um, are actually run in our control room which is right through here and our faculty members um, create live scenarios so that students respond or don't respond you know, based on what the high fidelity simulators are telling them to do. This is just a central area where we have both an adult and a pediatric crash cart. And during high fidelity simulations, um, students may be required to come in and get them and then to respond just as they would in real life. This is a second high fidelity simulation room that we have. Uh, this is our adult male. And again, we can create scenarios that are very realistic so that students uh, get the benefit of getting to respond to unusual situations that they may not actually see in clinicals and also to common situations so that they build confidence and competence as they learn here at Miami. And this is our debrief room. This is where students are invited to sit down after they've had a high fidelity simulation and this is where students can watch themselves. So this is a safe environment where students can make mistakes with very low stakes and they can feel comfortable again as they enter into the clinical field. And this is our Nursing Resource Center. This is where students come to learn physical assessment and where they learn foundational skills. These are our Juno mannequins and they are wonderful. You can learn how to do heart sounds, lung sounds, uh, bowel sounds, and you can also learn foundational skills on these mannequins. So these labs are taught in very small sections. Typically we have um, 10 students per section so that they get uh, lots of face-to-face -face interaction with their professors. Uh, so again, this room can be divided and we can actually run two different Nursing Resource Center labs at once. Uh, and again, by sophomore year, students are taking a fall course where they learn physical assessment. And by spring, they're taking the foundational fundamental course um, where they're learning their first med search content. So this Nursing Resource Center is actually staffed by students in off hours so that they can come and they can practice their skills before skills checkoffs. We keep this open in the evening often so that students are able to come in whenever it's convenient for them and so that they can feel comfortable before they're tested. So one of the most common questions that I'm asked is about job placement and about our clinical opportunities at Miami. And at Miami University, we have partners from Cincinnati to Dayton. We have partners with rural agencies and inner city agencies, and our students get the benefit of both. Thank you so much for joining our tour. We look forward to meeting you.